Brains! Brains! Must eat brains! Bruh, zombie Superman is gonna fuck you up. Must eat brains! <laughs> no, help nom, me! Nom 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 nom. Er, no brains! Gonna starve! You kill a zombie every year. You suck! Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another 31 Horror Toys in 31 Days, and today we're going to look at a figure from DC Direct. It's Deceased Superman. So basically, we've got the zombie Superman looking very, very cool. I got this from GameStop. It's actually one of the few places I've seen these figures out in the wild. So let's go ahead and jump in there and take a look at the packaging. So here we have the Deceased Superman in the package. It says Deceased Superman. There he is in the box. Top says Deceased in the comic logo. We get some artwork of him on the side looking all kinds of cool. Nothing really on that side. Uh, just a close-up. Love the logo from the comics. There he is looking all kinds of zombified from DC Direct. And then here we have the side art of the figure itself. And the back of the package here. We've got a little write-up with a Superman right there and all the other figures available in this wave. The only two I've seen actually are the girls. I have not seen Flash. So if you want to pause and read that, you are more than welcome to. And there is Superman. The other figures in this wave, never seen a Flash, but that's okay. That's basically it for the packaging. Let's get him out of box and see what we think. So here we have the zombie Superman out of the packaging. And this guy actually looks really cool. It's a pretty good quality figure. It's very durable. Looks like he did in the comics, uh, which is uh, kind of cool. Wish they were a little bit more zombified, but uh, yeah, you know, it is what it is. They definitely look a little bit ghoulish and a little bit uh, evil, which is a uh, very fun. Now articulation, the head does move up and down. It's on a ball joint. So it does move around quite a bit. We've got a ab crunch that's super tight on this particular figure. Uh, the arms do move up. They spin around. Uh, joints are kind of stiff. So yeah, they move up that far. There is a twist at the upper arm. The uh, elbows have a double joint on them. So yeah, a little stiff in the arms. This elbow is a lot better than the other. So double elbow joint, hinges and swivels on the wrists. So that's pretty cool. We got a spin at the waist right there. Legs kick up that far. They don't really kick back much at all. They splay out just a little bit. And then there's a twist at the upper thigh. And then we've got a double jointed knee. We can get it back, there we go. Double jointed knee, which is a very cool. And then we've got a twist at the boot up here at the top, hinge joint at the ankle. And we got that crazy ankle rocker pivot we love. With this being as wide as possible stance with both feet still flat on the floor. Now, taking a closer look at the figure itself, sculpted well. I love the kind of screaming face on him. The blood and the scratches look good. I like the cape, all the wrinkles, very nice. Differently done for a Superman figure, so definitely cool. The S with the blood drips down onto it. Very, very nice and very zombie looking. I wish though, again, the skin was a little bit darker, but eh, looks like the comics. Taking a look at the midsection of the figure, again, the cape looks nice. His hands are all kind of crunched up. Uh, we get the standard Superman type belt and undershorts. But yeah, overall, I think they did a good job. The sculpt, the wrinkling on the cape is amazing. And the musculature works pretty well for this figure.
And finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure. Again, standard Superman kind of sculpt. Works really well. I love the black kind of uh, spray on the paint at the bottom of the cape. The highlights there that just looks really, really cool. And just a nice little touch that they added. Again, the wrinkles in the cape look really, really good. The boots look nice. I wish the boots had a little bit of that a dark spray paint that uh, the capes got, but that's just kind of a minor gripe. For comparison, here we have the deceased Superman next to the Marvel Legends What If Zombie Captain America and well, these guys are two totally different kind of zombified figures, whereas Superman's kind of a fresh dead and Cap here as well kind of rotted out. I'd like to see the deceased characters a little bit more rotted out, but uh, they don't think it's the same kind of zombie comics. So is the Deceased Superman from DC Direct something that you want in your DC collection? I'm going to say yes. These are fun. It was an interesting comic book run. They're very cool. They're zombie DC characters. And while they're quite not as gruesome as the Marvel zombies, it's still kind of fun to see and something I've personally been wanting ever since Marvel Zombies number one. So yeah, definitely fun to have a zombie Superman. So there he is, the deceased Superman from DC Direct for 31 horror toys in 31 days. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to click all the things, subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for new videos. And follow me on all the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below.